with something like that is uh, this only really works in Enchantress decks because it is attached lore and venom to it. That way it's just like, oh, this 7-6 is going forward. You're still getting smacked for 7. All your creatures have to block it, and now they're all dead, provided they're not walls. Yep. I, um... And it's just that little insult to injury of, I don't care that it dies, it board wiped you, and it still smacked you in the face. Yeah, I have that in Boros, which is a lot of fun. Oh... Um, but I personally, I, I want it in an infect build. I just have not built around to get that to work. Okay, you know? I you, hook, oh. you hook Phyresis to it, that's, you're basically just going, you can one-shot everybody. Oh, yeah. I was wondering why my lighting was off. There we go. <laughs> I had my other light on. I was like, something is not right here. <laughs> there we go. Why is See if whether or not spell table's being feisty today. Wait. I could actually sit down if I move that chair. I wonder why it doesn't know what King Darien is. Does it know what the Fractured Power Stone is? Okay. Wait. Do I get... Pl you know, I will need dice because I do at least... I have one Planeswalker. Oh, I still have to build my, like, multiple Oathbreaker decks now. <laughs> right? <laughs> yep. Uh, luckily, I already had some, so I was, like, I was well, prepared, apparently. <laughs> I definitely need to build um, Sarkhan Unbroken. I love my Elspeth yes. deck. <laughs> with, with Genesis Ultimatum. I'm going to take oh, this moment. I'll be back in less than 30 seconds. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem I whatsoever. Need, I need to make my, uh, I think it's Kethis, the Hidden Hand. The one who makes all your legendaries one cheaper and you can play them from the graveyard. Um, I also... Because, uh, I had tested it out. I need, uh, what is it? Not Chromatic, I, I think either chroma Chromatic Lantern and or uh, the or Chromatic Orrery. Just so that everything is legendary, so I can uh, just end up ramping a lot, tapping a lot of mana, and tossing down like a 1617 Kamal's Druidic Vow, and just flooding the board. There we go. Okay. Oh. I think I have everything all set. Why is my chat not updating up on here? Hi, Sue, and hi, Spring Dweller. You have two more <laughs> Oathbreaker decks in the process? We've been playing Oathbreaker, me and Spring Dweller, on Mondays. I'm practicing. I gotta finish my other one. And then I yeah, I'm also running um, Ral, the, the War of the Spark version. Um, with Dragon's Approach, because I'm an asshole. Um, <laughs> I basically turned my Dragon's Approach deck into an Oathbreaker deck, and then um, my Chandra deck, my Chandra combo deck, I'm going to turn it into an Oathbreaker deck, just because. Good, you'll be giving me, a, give me some advice on, on this Chandra deck as, as I play it out. Uh, my Chandra deck, um, actually, my, my Chandra commander deck does run Chandra Fires of Kaladesh, um, as the commander, but I um, run Plane Bound Accomplice and Cloudstone Curio. Sure. I forgot what this Chandra does. <laughs> yeah. So all you're doing is basically blinking Chandra's on and off the field just doing shit, so... <laughs> yeah, I have the problem when I make decks, like if I make an Oathbreaker deck, like my Oathbreaker deck is just a ton of Elspeths. <laughs> It's all the Elspeths. Oh, oh and um, <laughs> um, Gris the Hunger Tide, because I'm just going to make it all insects, all creatures, lands, and make the signature spell Forever Young. <laughs> Wanna be forever. Yeah, so I just make an army of insects and just beat everybody to death with them. Hey, sure, McMurray. What's going right, on? I'm going to join your chat there, Mara. Okay, okay. On Twitch. Excellent. <laughs> there we go. I think.
think I got everything running. I think everybody can be heard. That's always a good thing. <laughs> Voice. Mm. <laughs> Spell table and OBS sometimes do not like to be friends with me. So, I'm mm. going to get things started here. Um, I'm Amara, goddess of blunder. Uh, welcome to the Phyrexian Arena. I've got some wonderful guests joining me today. we got a, a newbie to our arena here today with Chris. Hey, Chris! <laughs> And then we got some oldies and some goodies here. You're going to be, probably beat the crap out of me. <laughs> but we're going to be playing some Plane Chase today. If you don't know what Plane Chase is, Plane Chase is an alternate form of Magic the Gathering. Uh, or basically, yeah, we have this wonderful deck that has different planes of the multiverse. Um, those planes have different effects that will affect the whole entire board, basically like a global enchantment. Um, they basically do different things that... The plane, whatever plane they're on, <laughs> it goes with it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just flip one over. We're going to Bant. That's the first place we'll be going. Oh. But anyway, <laughs> we're so close. You're so close to Damn it. We're on my We're on my plane. We're not on the right shard. So this plane <laughs> has the ability that all creatures have exalted. So yes, all of our creatures Never have mind. Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying, actually. Um, Love oh, oh. So that'll be where we're starting. Um, we have this wonderful planar die, which if anybody wants to roll their own die, they may. It is a one and a six, basically, and then the rest are blank. If we roll the planar symbol, we will go to the next plane. Or we might also hit a phenomenon card, which is basically like an instant or sorcery that might make us draw cards or kill our creatures or do other weird things. <laughs> but uh, if we roll a six, the or the 69, the planar die power yep. will go off, and you, every plane also has a different ability at the bottom, so such as this, is whenever you roll a 69, put a divinity counter on target green, white, or blue creature. That creature has indestructible for as long as it has a divinity counter on it. So, yeah. Oh it, my. This is a, a, well, pretty, a pretty gross place. Um, if anybody wants I, to roll the... <laughs> You may roll the die anytime you want as a sorcery, at a sor or at sorcery speed, once free per turn. Um, we also are going to start with this Fractured Power Stone in our command zone. See it as our 101 card. Um, we can cast it at any time we want for the two mana and then it'll become an emblem. Once it becomes an emblem, it cannot be interacted with except for to be tapped for mana by you at any time. Or you may also roll the planar die a second time for its uh, second ability, but only as a sorcery. <laughs> Because yep. otherwise, if it's not an emblem, it gets messed with, and yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it it would become broken here. <laughs> yeah, like it would be very broken. Like <laughs> I nearly broke. Like the first time that I tried doing plane chase and had it just normally, it did not work out well. <laughs> it just <laughs> we went to every plane. <laughs> um, yeah, but that'd be kind of cool too. Yeah, in, in its own way, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Um, we may also pay mana to roll the planar die. You can pay one mana, two mana, and then it'll collimatively become more each time. Because um, sometimes you really just need to get off the plane, and we have tons of mana at that point in time. So <laughs> later in the game. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be playing King Darien today. Um, it's the new King Darien, not the scary oh, mono white one that you get soldiers every... Uh, Every time you gain life, I think, or every time you get hit, I don't remember. It's horrible. <laughs> for each one, uh, yeah. For each damage you take, you generate a soldier. Okay, yeah, that's that's the one. This one, not so much. Yeah. So I'm just gonna be buffing creatures. It's uh, soldier themed. It's got soldiers and things that soldiers would do. <laughs> I like to theme my decks, you know. Um, I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. Let us know what you got going on in the world. Throw your links up in the chat and let us know what you're playing. We'll start with Ruby. What's happening, Ruby? Oh, not much. I'm Ruby with Chaos EDH. That's Chaos EDH literally every week, everywhere you could use the name, especially here on Twitch, where I'm still trying for affiliate. Damn it. <laughs> um, I got lazy. I had the hours... I have most of the views. I have way more than enough followers. It's that damn average. Yeah, the average is killing a pain me. In the butt. <laughs> average viewers have pain in the ass. Um, but today, tonight, I am running a personal favorite of mine. It's Marika Brutal Gladiator. Um, to sum it up, 
But in long form, I'm basically going to have her fighting everything. Um, I will take very high advantage of her indestructibility and do direct combat with creatures. So, it's my baby, I love her. I've been beaten down by this before. <laughs> it was supposed to be a joke and turned out to be one of my better decks. So. <laughs> it is good times. And Veridic, what is going on? Welcome back. Ah, it's great to be back. Uh, pretty much just getting ready for the weekend, enjoying that. I decided to test out my Subira uh, Tilziti Ca uh, Caravanier this week. I've never tried this one. It is a small creatures matter deck with a very strong emphasis towards combat tricks, prowess, shamans and wizards uh very and very much in theme of okay wait to strike at the right moment okay. or just keep pounding turn <laughs> after turn because you can't block <laughs> very cool i'm interested to see how this works out because i've never been it's mono red decks are really hard to build because I, I want to build a Karn the Betrayer deck and I'm like how do I make it so it's like group huggy and I can just give people Karn? <laughs> uh, and oh, this is my good Karna deck. deck. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm excited to see that one too. Uh, and Chris, welcome. How are you doing? Thanks, I'm doing so well. Uh, it was a great, great meeting you at, at Philly. Oh, yeah. Um, and while I was at Philly, I just had this idea because I was standing in line to pick up some prize tickets. And I'm like, man, I only, only got so many tickets. What's that Chandra deck over there? I thought it was a Chandra uh, Planeswalker deck. And it was, but it wasn't a um, it wasn't a commander deck. It was just a standard 60, 60 card deck. But I didn't know what I was buying. <laughs> so that's okay. So I, But I had this great idea, and I had already bought the play mat that I have that's, that's displayed here from Aaron Miller. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to build a deck, and I'm, I'm going to end up uh, playing it online and then giving it away. So uh, I have all these cards in paper, uh, even though I'm using Moxfield. Uh, it's just a little easier for me to play with Moxfield. Today. So Chandra, Fire of Kaladesh, is the commander which she flips over to Chandra Roaring Flame. Um, and it's, it will, I mean, it's a fire deck, right? I tried to stay on theme with Chandra's uh, history. So we'll see a little bit of Jaya, a little bit of Chandra, but we won't see things that are like really efficient, like some new Phyrexian cards, because she just wouldn't do those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm trying, to, trying to stay on theme with it, just to have fun. Love it. I love it that nice. all of you are staying on theme with your decks. <laughs> also, we're giving away that uh, oh, yeah. um, arena code uh, later later today when you're ready to run that. Oh, yeah. We will do that. I'll get that set up. Da, da, da. Okay, so I am going to randomize us three times real quick. Da, da, da. Oh, I got to move my face. Uh, yeah, you don't have to. It's up to you. We'll see. <laughs> and there we go. Basically, <laughs> I'm moving my face. Man, I move back up in the front. I, I hate when I'm first. <laughs> okay, so we love it. You and I didn't move. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, pup. Can I have my hand? Nope. I'm gonna use this for things. Yep, I know. Mm. <laughs> okay, pupper. <laughs> okay. So anyway. oh, you might now that I have a path here, you might end up seeing one of my one of my two boys sometime tonight. <laughs> Yeah, he likes to come over, and then he'll, like, push his hand, head over my hand, so, it, like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, pet me now. Um, anyway, we're going to start on Bant. All of our creatures have Exalted. Uh, I'm going to stay here for a little while, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. Um, if everybody's got a playable hand, I will start us off. Uh, we had a rampant yes. growth redem redem redemption. Oh, my God. And the chaos begins. <laughs> So, yep. yeah, there is <laughs> some chaos redemptions. Uh, we may go look for a basic land and put it onto the battlefield haft. <laughs> nice. I was like, how do I make plane chase even more complicated? <laughs> redemptions! <laughs> um, a forest. Uh, surprising nobody. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Mountains! <laughs> I would not have guessed that from either of you. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I mean, I wanted to I have to show off the art on these lands cuz I do that for every one of my decks. So 
Oh, I will say um, this deck probably won't have the stained glass lands in them when I give it away. I don't have that many. <laughs> <laughs> I have enough for draft, <laughs> not for commander. <laughs> I, I, I purposefully theme my lands for each, so this has the un lands. Because I imagine mm. this is the plane Mariga's from. I'm going to play myself a forest, and then I will pass. Okay. Now, we can roll. I am going to... This is the only reason I kept this hand so I could do this. I'm going to play Once Upon a Time. <laughs> if this spell was the first spell you cast this game, you may cast it without paying mana costs. Look at the top five cards of your library, reveal a creature or land, and put them into your hand. Come on, none. <laughs> it is a really good card. I don't know. I used to play it during oh, the yeah. Drain's time. <laughs> um, what sucks is, is my soul ring is in, in, in the five. I'm going to grab oh. Gorkwa. I'm going to grab Gorkwa. Oh. Hey, Gorkwa. <laughs> but hey, out of 100 cards, to have that in your opening hand is always fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am going to play... Command Tower is one of my favorite proxies. Tap one for Deathrite Shaman and pass. Hey, I will. Then, uh, yeah, I'm going to show off the artwork because I, I love this artwork. <laughs> Ooh, gorgeous. My most expensive proxy. I paid like 12 bucks for this thing, but it's too pretty. I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to. Um... Drop down a blast zone, because that seems good. We're going to put a counter on it, because it comes in with one. And we will cast a young pyromancer. Yes, that's actually the Chandra Signature Spell Edition. <laughs> I did buy those. <laughs> and then I will pass. OK. Untap, upkeep, draw. I am going to play a World Series Mountain. I know. Flag on the play. There's a gold border. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do what, unfortunately, Ruby's not able to do and play my soul ring. <laughs> now you're just going It doesn't hurt me that bad. <laughs> uh, and then... One, two, three for a pristine talisman. Because this deck needs all the mana it can get. <laughs> and you know what? I'm rolling that planner die because I don't want to be on Bant. <laughs> Exalted might be nice for me, but I don't want you being indestructible. Okie dokie. Nope, nothing. Yeah, okay. Uh, wait. <laughs> Would you like I to tap the one, one mana? <laughs> one life. And roll again. Oh. Okay. Okay. I need some kind of way to stop my dice sometimes. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. And I pass turn. The problem with this dice is it doesn't roll really well, so like you can't just roll it gently. Otherwise it just stops. <laughs> so you have to put some kind of oomph into it. <laughs> I'm going to draw for my turn. I forgot there's a whole bunch of Sigardas in this deck, too. I think all the Sigardas are in here. <laughs> oh. Do you oh, that? God. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's some Sigardas. Just a, a warning. <laughs> um, uh, you know what? Do I want to do that or that? No, let's do that. I'm going to play Gideon's Avenger. It's a human soldier. It's a 2-2. Two -two. And whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, put a plus one, plus one counter on Gideon's Avenger. And then I shall... Do I want to be here? I, I kind of want the divinity counter. <laughs> okay, nothing. I shall pass my turn. Okay, untap. But keep. Hmm. I'm so disappointed no one went and fetched lands to put lands in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm not a fetch land deck. <laughs> I, I will play. In here. I will play a swamp. <laughs> tap two for my fractured power stone then. And I well, actually, I can do this right now. Um, uh, verdict. I'm gonna swing at you for two. 
I'm gonna put a plus one. Oh no! One counter. I gave myself the villain. <laughs> no, you just don't have any blockers. <laughs> <laughs> and I shall put a plus one plus one counter on Gideon. And turn. seeing as that I just used the exalted ability, I'd like to stay here. So <laughs> it's not a terrible place. If you got oh no, that that new that new D and D character that gives all auras. In Exalted is <laughs> yeah. very much I very, very happy when I saw him. Um, oh, so pass. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. I will start my next turn. A card was drawn. Alright. Mm. So I may have missed this in the explanation. Do we all have access to this uh, yep. artifact you just cast? Okay, yep. that's what I thought. Yep. It's yeah. basically it's just in of, your, com uh, the your companion. Person, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got it. Um, hmm. Well, I think we're going to play a land for turn. And then we're just going to tap all of these and we're just going to start with Chandra because, you know, why not? Makes sense. Fire of Kaladesh comes in. And um, so that Exalted works out if I attack now with this one creature, the young Pyromancer. It gets plus one, plus one, because it's the only one attacking. Uh, it gets plus two, plus two, because yeah, cause, each cause of there your are two creatures. creatures, creatures that, yeah. That's really yep. disgusting. Yeah, it's really disgusting. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, Exalted uh, ability stack, and it's so pretty. Oh, it, and Gideon's yeah. Avenger at um, Amara there is currently indestructible. Well, it's not indestructible. Uh, it just has a plus one, plus one counter. That's it. But didn't you roll the die? Yeah, but I didn't roll. Uh, it uh, was a blank. Oh, you have to roll that specific the, yeah, the 69 in order yeah. to get the divinity counter. Yeah, yeah, yep. okay. Thank you, thank you. And okay. we also have a rampant growth that just got redeemed, so. Okay, okay. I've had it. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, three. Yeah, okay. We're going to go ahead. We're going to turn sideways at Amara. Okay. I will just take it, actually. <laughs> I don't want to lose my creature. Actually, my creature will get plus one, plus one, so I don't know if you want to do that. Cause when your it creature... will get plus one, plus one. Yeah, because when, you... You... when your creature taps... When oh, I... yeah. No, take the plus one. Oh, so then they'll both... Yeah, I... go ahead and tap it. I don't think you want to lose it. <laughs> well, I'll be... It might all be plus four, plus four. Or it will be four, four. Because I will... It's a three, three now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, yeah, it has the counter. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to... Yeah, you're, well, you're correct. Yeah. Uh, where well, I would not want to... Well, it, it, I have a four, four, three. Yeah. So go yeah. ahead and block. <laughs> I will not block. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I will just allow this to happen. <laughs> cool. Hey, Uncle Russ, what's happening? He just redeemed a card draw. And then I'm... Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, thanks. <laughs> And Don't I will uh, pass the turn. Did you remember to rampant growth? No. So I'm we supposed to search my library and do two, like one, one, one of the great, one of the battlefield taps, one in my hand. Yep. No, it's just or, one to or the just, yeah, oh, yeah, I just one to the battlefield. Okay, thank you. I will do that now. Uh, okay. It'll be tapped, right? So don't worry about that. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think you want to put a Cultivate in the Chaos. Oh my gosh, that would be... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, let's draw. I'll play a land for turn. I'll drop the Nefalia Academy. I don't think anyone's playing a discard deck, so... Nope. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I could. But I don't need to just yet. I'll hold on to that. So I'm going to, for four mana, drop a Wildfire Eternal. And then for three more mana, gain, uh, gaining one life. I will play uh, Saburia. No, Bucky, don't do that. And uh, Gideon's Avengers. Whenever any creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, correct? It is. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will not take advantage of my haste this turn. And instead, I'm going to roll that die. Roll okay. that planner die, please. Sounds good. We are leaving. 
Oh, oh thank you. Where are we? Going? I don't want to be in pants. <laughs> So we're going to the Karashi Foothills. <laughs> Whenever a creature you control attacks a player for each other opponent, you may create a token that's a copy of that creature, tapped and attacking that opponent. <laughs> Exile those tokens oh at the beginning of the next end step. <laughs> so, myriad. <laughs> this, this, uh, this actually works for me so well. <laughs> And whatever we roll a 69, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. If you do, Karashi Foothills deals that much damage to target creature. Well, this is going to be great for Marika. Yeah, this is scary. I don't like this place. Like, this is... <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> uh, and I will... Uh, I'm going to... I'll pass turn. Since I'd already skipped past my combat step stupidly before rolling. <laughs> oh, you would have gotten a whole bunch of... <laughs> yeah, that would have been bad. <laughs> well, only Saboria would have been able to attack, so... Uh, okay, let me draw my card for turn. Uh, let's play a forest for our land. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to play Sigarda, Heron's Grace. <laughs> it's an angel, it's four, five, flying, and you and humans you control have hexproof. And I can pay two colorless and exile a card from my graveyard and put a one, one white human soldier uh, creature token onto the battlefield. So many things I don't like. Yeah, there's a lot of bad things going on. <laughs> um, let's see here. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to attack Ruby with Gideon's Avenger, which is a 4-4. Four, four, and that, I'll have to take it. that is going to create another Gideon's Avenger and another Gideon's Avenger. Oh, and so <laughs> I'm going to attack Verdict and uh, Chris here with the other two because... Yeah. <laughs> but they don't have the counters. No, right? they don't have the counters. They're just two twos. Uh, in that case, I block with Wildfire Eternal. It's a 1-4. That works. <laughs> no block. No blocks? Okay. And then, you know what? I'm going to try to leave this place, because... Yeah. <laughs> John, 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 John. Okay. We're leaving. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we are going to Kessig. Prevent all combat damage that yeah. would be dealt by non-werewolf creatures. <laughs> Whatever you oh, so we're going to my second home. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I don't like that place. <laughs> yeah, this is not a good place. Uh, whatever you roll a sixty-nine, each creature you control gets plus two, plus two, gains trample, and becomes a werewolf in addition to its other t creature types until end of turn. <laughs> yeah, the last time we were here, I turned the boss into a werewolf. I so remember that. Uh, I have stories from your streams yeah. now. <laughs> so I go to the end of my turn. These will go bye bye, and then yeah, that will be the end of everything I got going on. Cool. Last time I was here, I was able to buff up a salad to kill people. <laughs> See, I would love to go here when I'm running my werewolf deck. And then yeah. it would be a lot more fun for me. It's never happened. I'm just waiting for it to happen. Eventually, somebody will have a werewolf deck, and we'll actually go to Kessig. <laughs> Hmm. I'll stay mountain or play mountain. One, two, three, one, two. Come on out, my love. There she is. Then I'm going to Blizzard Brawl um, your angel. What? <laughs> That's not very nice. That's not very nice at all. <laughs> Why are you going to kill my angel? I don't like the word hexproof. <laughs> uh, I like the word hexproof. So. Yeah, but I don't. I like it when it well, says, I'm I hexproof. <laughs> and well, that's the part I have a problem with. <laughs> Uh, and we have a scry one from Sher McMurray. Thank you, Sher McMurray. So everybody gets a scry one. Okay. Oh, uh, you, to the thank box. you. Hmm. 
See, the problem is, is I know he goes in bunches, so I don't know if I want to put this at the bottom and have it in my hand. Yeah, that's... A, I don't think I need hmm. this right now. I think we'll leave this on top. I will leave it on top, too. Oh, and I didn't describe Marika. Uh, she, if she attacks, she has to be blocked. During my turn, she's indestructible. And if she deals excess damage in any way to a creature, it uh, you, the, that target opponent sacrifices a non-creature, non-land permanent. So gross. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yep. And I will pass. All right. I will click the next turn. Any weird like things I missed? <laughs> no, no more lands coming out of my deck? Okay. No, no, we're good. <laughs> Just to scry. All right. I did the scry. All right, we're going to play a land for turn. You got another mountain. Hmm. I think what we'll have to do here is pretty basic at the moment we're just oh, gonna no no no, no. <laughs> we're just gonna turn I, to I cast a magmatic we are just change cost <laughs> casting a magmatic channeler um not, nothing big here just pay, don't pay attention to those and then we're gonna tap two more <laughs> to play the uh token I have it as a token, but it's not really that a token. Works, that works. <laughs> uh, ca card here. That's the best. That's the quickest way I can figure out how to add it. And uh, still got two mana left, huh? Not bad for like the uh, turn three, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, I think that's gonna that's gonna be it. And uh, I, I'm not gonna be so aggressive this turn. We're gonna we're gonna pass the turn off the verdict now. I think I need some. Oh, okay. man, these blockers are gonna get killed though. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, remember, all combat damage is prevented. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, Thank dropped. you. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to play a mountain. Uh, You know what? Roll me that planner die first. Can do. Come on, 69. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case... Uh, tap. Uh, actually, uh, leave one mountain untapped. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for Angrath's Marauders. I'm gonna gain one life. And yeah, if a source I control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage instead. Sagarda, where are you? <laughs> Uh, t -t 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 -t. you know, because my attacks aren't going to do anything this turn, and my deck is based around attacking. Pass. <laughs> mm. Sounds good. Untap. Draw for turn. <laughs> I'm going to play a forest for my turn. Pay one and two. I'm going to bring my Fractured Power Stone out. And then... Do I keep mana up? I think so. Oh, and I'm just going to repeat. Marika's ability does not affect the Power Stone. So oh, yes. You do not <laughs> yes. have to sacrifice that to that ability. It yes. is immediate. I just want to repeat that, because... <laughs> I am going to roll and see if we can leave this place. Nope. Or get plus two, plus two, which would have been cool. Um, since my damage isn't going to do anything, I guess uh, I am going to pass my turn. Okay. Then tap everything. Yeah, I do like those Infinity Lands. It's a good choice. Yeah, they're really pretty. <laughs> uh, they're... The galaxy foil ones aren't out yet. I got very lucky, so I have a few gal. I have a few of them galaxy foil. But to me, this looks like somewhere that she would be from, so that's why I picked them. <laughs> um, 
One, two, three, four. Let's go just green, 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 and three colorless to go ahead and play Vigor. If damage would be dealt to a creature, I control, I control other than Vigor, prevent that damage, and put that many 1-1 one -one counters for each damage prevented. Um, and when it goes in the graveyard, shuffle it into my library. Let's try to leave this plane. <laughs> I appreciate the the protection, but I need to attack. So nope, no, nothing. And I cannot roll again, so pass. All right, at your end step, verdict. I don't like that you're climbing above forty one points of damage, so I'm going <laughs> to fires of Kaladesh you to do one point of damage. I will get a plus one plus one count. And it's only combat damage that's prevented. Yes, correct. Five and forty. Not. It's just why I'm not terribly upset about this plane because <laughs> as this deck's meant to okay. fight, so I don't really care. Yeah, kind of. I will go to my next turn and draw a card. Okay, we will play yet another land for turn. So we're going to turn this magmatic channeler sideways to pitch a card. The card we're going to pitch. Is the Revolutionist, which has a madness uh, summoning, which uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to. Well, we'll see. Um, and in res oh, I think I wanted to cast this first. I'm sorry. I'll allow me to just oh yeah reverse fine. that for a second. Yeah, I, I need to cast this first, so it goes into the graveyard. The Rite of Flame. Uh, so the Rite of Flame for one red gives me two two red mana. So that goes to the graveyard. Uh, so I'm floating two red mana. We are pitching the revolutionist with the magmatic channeler, so that will go to the to the exile zone, and uh, I can cast it for its madness cost, uh, which I'm going to do now. So I spend the two, three, four. So I now have the revolutionist. Well, while it's on the stack, rather, I have to. Um, I'm going to turn sideways and hit <laughs> Amara. Okay. When that casts the red spell, it comes undone. Not you, though. And not you. And not you guys. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> um, and then... I have this. Uh, so I'm bringing the Rite of Flame back into my hand. Make the elemental? Yep. I gotta do the... Thank you. Add my elemental. It's the 1-1. One, one. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, it's the 1-1 one, one elemental. And... Okay, so that was four mana. One, two, three, four mana. Now I'm going to um, ping again to Amaro because <laughs> you're getting all of the all, oh. all of the light, yeah, okay. all of the oh. counters. Boop. There we go. <laughs> and then I'm going to turn this mountain sideways, and I'm going to cast Rite of Flame again, which is going to untap Chandra. <laughs> it's going to make another token. And this is going to the graveyard this time. And uh, this is the third point of damage I'm doing to Amara. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we'll flip my Chandra. We got there. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be the same person. It does not. But but uh, for every point of life that I'm doing to Amara, Amara is also gaining a plus one, plus one that counter on her giant creature. So uh, yeah, she's paying it. for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and now that I have... Uh, so we got four here. Uh, just because it's tapped doesn't necessarily mean I can't use the abilities here. So we are going to next do two damage to target player, two damage to target creature. Six damage. So two damage to target creature. Uh, well, I don't really want to piss anybody else off right now. So that <laughs> shaman looks... Because like this is just really setting me up for a nice big swing from everybody else. Um, yeah, so I can either get a. Uh, well, you only got one valid target over there, Ru Ruby, and I haven't actually come after you yet. So that's where I'm gonna minus uh, two here, and 
hit you for uh, hit your um, death right shaman for two. I'm going to give you a heads up. Vigor prevents all damage, so oh, okay. I'll just get two plus one plus. What's one vigor? Uh, vigor is a six oh, okay. trampler. Yeah, um, it prevents all damage completely. So it's not just for the plane anymore. No. Now it's just yeah. If damage, that's all your, thank if you. damage would oh. be dealt to a creature I control other You're than right. vigor, prevent it and add that many. Yeah. So I do appreciate that. So I'm going to plus one to hit you for two instead. Okay. <laughs> Because I was going to say, you're about to make Death Ray Shaman a 3-4. Yeah, no, we don't want to do that. That that doesn't need to be that at all. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh, please do it, but I'm going to have to warn you. The, these these were tapped. Um, so I have that two floating mana still that I haven't used yet uh, from the last time I tapped that. Uh, so two, one, three, and four. And that'll give us our next Chandra. The Pyromancer. And so Chandra Pyromancer is going to lean in here for a moment. Uh, One damage, one player, one damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one's going to have to go to... um, I'm going to plus one her. And uh, we'll do that one off to Verdict. And it doesn't matter which creature, but you take a point of damage. Oh. Oh, it's one damage to a creature? One damage to a creature and one damage to you. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll or, put it on Angrath Marauders just because I know everyone wants a good shot at that one to get off the board. <laughs> okay. And oh, that was also tapped. <laughs> and this was tapped. I'm sorry, I keep hitting the U, the U button. It's a very bad plan. That's all good. I think, I think that will exhaust my turn and I'm going to pass it off. Yeah. Okay. Untap. Draw. Again. Not really helpful. Ah. Uh, still in Kessig. Yep. <laughs> yep, we are. Uh, for two, I'll bring out a fractured power stone. One, two, three, four. For a battle rattle shaman, gain one life. Uh, let's roll to see if we can make it off this plane or if I can actually deal damage. Okie dokie. We are, oh, you can do some damage. Your creatures get plus two, plus two, and gain trample and become werewolves. <laughs> okay. Uh, in. Oh, wait. It prevents all combat damage not done by werewolves, so I don't even need to use her ability. Okay. You know what? Uh, who am I more terrified? You know what? Uh, I am going to send Suburia at... Uh, At Chandra Pyromancer, Angrath at uh, Angrath's Marauders, I mean, at Ruby, and the Wildfire Eternal is going to head for you, Amara. Okie dokie. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to block uh, Angrath. Sorry. I'm going to. Uh, beginning gonna... of combat, I'm going to give the plus two, plus O, oh, two sub, uh, sorry, two wildfire eternal. Okay, okay. Well, everybody gets the plus. Oh, okay, from that. Okay. No, it, uh, oh. you may have target creature, yeah. so I'm giving an additional plus two, plus O oh, to wildfire. How big is it? Uh, wildfire is currently a five power, uh, Subura, uh, Sorry, Subira is a four power, and Angrath's Marauders is a six power. Oh, and they do double too, don't they? I'll block Correct. Them. They. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I will just ugh, do it. I don't want to take it. Ugh, I don't want to take it. But I think I'm going to. Okay, I'll take. I'll take the damage. <laughs> I'll block uh, okay. Marauders with Marika. 
Okay, and hold on before any damage is taken and removed. Uh, are uh, you blocking uh, wild... Uh, sorry, are you blocking... Uh... Uh, Subira's yeah, coming... Subira. Yeah, I, I need to ask what, what, what her... Is there a trample here that I heard, or no? Is that not happening? There is trample, yeah. So what's the... Is, is it a 4-3 with trample at the moment? Uh, she is currently a 4-5 trample, deals double damage. Right, that double damage part is irritating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. I'm like, ah. And you're going after uh, the Pyromancer, yeah? Yes. Okay, there'll be no block there. Okay, no block there. Uh, wildfire Eternal, you're not going to block it, Amara? Uh, no. Okay, so that would be a total of 10 damage to you. Okay, dokie. And uh, Angrath's Marauders, and you are blocking with your commander. Correct. Uh, what is her toughness? Uh, she's a 7 4. Okay. And she's only indestructible during your turn. Mm hmm. Okay. So I have no reaction to you declaring her as a blocker to Angrath's Marauders. Do you do in, anything? Bigger kicks in at the damage and puts twelve one one counters on her. Uh, there is, uh, there is trample. Still, no. It well, the thing is, is it prevents all damage done to her. Ah, I did not realize that it prevented mm -hmm. Prevent all of it, including the trample. Prevent. Prevent damage that would be dealt to her, but one one counters on the creature for one each damage prevented. Okay. Uh, yeah, so trample only works for the stuff that would normally be enough to kill the creature, so it, it can't be killed. Ugh. Okay. My bad. Uh, and I will pass turn. Before, uh, just... Amara, did you get your tr triggers oh, for... Oh, um... yeah, I forgot about all those triggers. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, these these two together are absolutely magical. What is... Ah, stop this. If you attack Vigor with a spell, though, it doesn't apply. <laughs> that's, that, that's, yeah, that's how you get rid of it. Yeah. yeah, you have to get rid of Vigor first, and Vigor mm -hmm. just shuffles into library. There's a lot of scary stuff going on here. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> I'm going to draw a card for a turn. It's just the cards. It's just the cards' fault. <laughs> I'm going to play Banner Gate. I love so much. Um, it's going to come into play tapped, but it'll make uh, Sim or not Simic, uh, Celestia. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like we need more creatures or something. Cast a one, two, and three, and bring my commander out, King Darian. Uh, oh no, I hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sorry, I, uh, spell table just kicked me out for some reason and reloaded the page, so I'm trying to reload back in. I think you're hearing double from me. I think the same just happened to Ruby. Oh, yep, no. I got it. I'm coming back. Okay. Yeah, we got exiled. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I think mine is I hit a wrong button. <laughs> cool. Uh, back. back. It, it, t spell table will kick you if you like go off of the page, so every now and then I'll be looking at something to get ready for a turn, and it'll... um. Just like, hey, by the way, screw you. Yep. <laughs> Definitely had that happen many a time. <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta give I gotta give Marika her weapon, huh? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, we gotta get out this plane. Yeah, I, my problem <laughs> is if we if we stay here, 
at least it's keeping Marika under control, except for when it fights. It her. is? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, but I can fight all I want, which is really all this deck cares about yeah, right now. Which... Right now, I'm in the best place. <laughs> so I'm gonna play... The sad part is there are no wolves. I took um, Kessig Wolfrider out of here today. <laughs> Do I would have been the only okay, person with the Fair wolf. enough. Fair enough. So, so it's it's only a real danger if we roll that 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 sixty nine. Basically, because <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna play King Darian. Uh, other creatures I control get plus one plus one. I can pay five. I know if in a tokens. I'm sorry. It's 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 the it's it's a rare event that I don't have wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring this back up. I don't know why my stream went off on me on here. There we go. I'll turn in my furry card later. <laughs> is that how that works? It is. It uh, is to me. <laughs> you got. You got vigor. You're up. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, vigor. <laughs> what? I'm officially a furry, right there. So I can pay five and put a plus one plus one counter on King Darian and create a one one white soldier creature token. But I can also sacrifice King Darian and creature tokens I control gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Which pretty damn cool hmm. actually. Yeah, that's kinda neat. Um how much mana do we have? I think we're gonna roll to see what happens combat wise. Nothing. Uh, do I wanna roll the I don't have enough mana to roll, and okay, we're not gonna do that. Um, I think I am just gonna pass and hope terrible things don't happen next turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, I was looking at a card that I think would be really fun in that deck. Gift of Immortality. That might actually be a lot of fun for you <laughs> if you don't already have it in there. Oh, is that the one that just keeps coming back? Mm -hmm. it, keeps... it allows it to die, but it comes back at the end of your turn. <laughs> Draw. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Okay, so... I'm going to play green and one to play regrowth. Returning Blizzard Brawl back to hand. Ugh. I'm going to tap one, and for the betterment of the, for the benefit of the table, I'm going to Blizzard Brawl and Grass Marauders. Okay. Uh, I can get behind that. <laughs> You know what? I'm just going to... Even though it's not going to do any... Wait, no, that'll just make you stronger. I was about to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, because it might have helped me, but sure. Angrath's Marauders will go down dealing eight more damage to Morelia. Sorry. Marika. Marika. I, I was about to add an additional six onto that just to scry. <laughs> um, appropriate which plane we're on. I'm going to play Kessig Wolf Run. Nice. Ah. Then I will go green one, two for Colossal Majesty. Um, at the beginning of my upkeep, if I control a creature with power four greater, draw a card. And before combat, um, go ahead and roll that planar die before I move over to combat phase. Yeah, man. Get that. Da, da, da. Get it. Ah, good. Uh, roll it again. <laughs> <laughs> I, wait, what? Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, right now, regardless, Marika is a one-shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> I mean, go for it, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <Gosh. laughs> okay. I yeah are... this I, I yeah did I mention I love this deck because it does stupid shit like this with like cards that don't even matter. Yeah, that, that <laughs> yeah I love it. Okay, uh, well, that's interesting for me. Oh, and um, 
uh, verdict uh, when uh, Angrass Marauders was destroyed, destroy a non-creature, non-land permanent. Or sacrifice a non-creature, non-land. Uh, there goes Soul Ring. Yep. That is the downside okay. of it. I actually sometimes love and sometimes hate that ability. Six mana. I'm going to cast a Cage Sun. I'm choosing red. Uh, so... Now my lands will produce double red, and all my red creatures have plus one, plus one. Yep. I will now play a land for turn. <laughs> and let's see, what can I do with the remaining mana? First, I'm going to plus Chandra. So we're going to add a loyalty counter there. Nothing prevents me from targeting uh, Ruby here, so I'm going to do that. I do not blame you. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be two damage to Ruby. And um, if I had a dollar for every time I ended up ended up as arch enemy, I'd be able to buy that all hell is Eve again. <laughs> I'm going to tap <laughs> these two lands, which is the last two I have. They're producing double mana now because it's red. Uh, and we're going to cast the Carplusion Hound, which when the Carplusion Hound attacks, if I own a Chandra Planeswalker, it deals damage. Nice. To, I think it's any target. And now that I've done all that, I'm going to. I need mana to roll that die, so pass turn, right? Yeah. You, well, you get a free, free one. Roll. Yeah, you get yeah, a free one. Roll. I'll get a free one. Yep. Roll the free die before combat. Yes. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Oh, we're leaving. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm on. I've manifested no. it. I have it on top. Whew, so we're going to the uh, great, damn it. the great forest. Each creature assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. And whenever you roll the sixty-nine creatures you control, get plus zero plus two and gain trample until end of turn. Oh, okay. all right. This actually helps. We're just hanging out in the woods apparently Hello. today. <laughs> I'm gonna just pass the turn. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I need to go here. <laughs> okay. Uh. Untap, nothing in my upkeep, draw, uh, 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 land for turn, one, two, and a red for a captive flame, I'll gain one life. Uh, Captive Flame is just an enchantment that for one red, target creature gets plus one, plus oh until end of turn. So I can basically fire breathe any of my creatures. That is a, I love that artwork. Uh, I'm going to... I love the flavor text too. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to move to combat. And... Uh, so battle rattle. Actually, sorry. Before combat, roll that die. Okay. I want to see if I can boost up my creature. Nothing. Okay. Uh. Pay one. Roll that die again. Can do. Nothing. Two, roll the die again. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> gamble. <laughs> Nothing. Hold on. Let me do quick math. That doesn't matter. <laughs> roll that die uh, again. <laughs> Let it ride. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I will go to I will go to combat, make wildfire and Eter eternal a three four, and I will pass my turn. Okay. <laughs> sometimes you just don't want Dang. Sometimes you just want the power to go off. Sometimes especially the ones that like one of them gives like Eldrazi, there's another one that gives dragons and Yeah. <laughs> like everybody wants an Eldrazi or a dragon. Especially. Yeah, and where I want to go gives everything devour five. <laughs> Or at least red, black, bl red, black, green creatures devour five. So, uh, so now your creatures are off the hook, which kind of is kind of scary. <laughs> um, let me pay one and colorless. 
going to play Thalia, Guardian of Theraban. Uh, first strike, 2-1, non-creature spells uh, cost one more to cast. And, you know what, I will roll and see where if we can leave. Nope, my creatures are going to get plus two, <laughs> plus zero, plus two, and gain trample until end of turn. <laughs> Okay. okay, so 69 just gave them bigger butts. Yeah, so we got a big old... Well, one. yeah, a that's a not what I want to see. Twelve <laughs> fourteen, yeah, You know, just a twelve fourteen with trample. <laughs> but we'll do 14. Um, um, how about we pay one, two, and three. I'm going to play Mobilization an enchantment and soldier creatures I control have vigilance and I can also pay one white and one two colorless and put a white soldier creature token into play and then nice I think Verdic, I'm gonna have to come over to you and visit with this 1214 <laughs> Gideon's Avenger that also has vigilance <laughs> well actually it's even bigger uh... it's bigger than that actually because it's getting plus one plus one from uh King Darien, so it is actually a thirteen fifteen with trample. Okay. Uh I'm gonna take thirteen, that'll drop me down to what, twenty eight only? Oh they're twenty eight, yes. That's fine. I'll be back up in no time. <laughs> I shall, one turn at a time. One turn at a time. <laughs> I shall then pass my turn. Okay. And tap. Draw. I am going to shock in a stomping ground. A two for Swiftfoot Boots. In response to Swiftfoot Boots coming out. <laughs> I figured. That's what I was waiting. Uh -huh. I'm going to tap one blue and I'm going to path to exile Marika. <laughs> oh, and I also I forgot to draw the beginning of the turn because of that, but it's not going to matter. Um... Okay. And Path of Exile is the land is the land one. Damn uh, it. Yep, that's the land one. <laughs> Could you imagine? I know. I was like glad it wasn't. I mean, I wasn't gonna or... come after you this time. <laughs> this time. This time, yeah. Well now the Swift Boots go just go on the vigor, so that's fine. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> now the vigor is just invincible. <laughs> yep. or... Man, if only somebody had some artifact destruction. <laughs> Oh, hold on. It's somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blast. I'm, play I I'm playing red, too. <laughs> I'm not good at enchantments, but I am good at artifacts. <laughs> I, I don't know if I have anything. <laughs> I know I can destroy enchantments. Well, the only way I can destroy the enchantment is to make it an artifact first and then destroy it. I'm going to play Garruk's Uprising. Oh. Uh, card draw. <laughs> yep, when, Gar when Garrick's Uprising enters the battlefield, um, if you control a creature with power 4 greater, I do, I draw a card. Creatures I control have trample, and whenever a creature with power 4 greater enters the battlefield under my control, I draw a card. It's um, just an overall far better Kabu layer. For <laughs> I think cheaper or the same. And well, Here's the thing I really I like is um I forgot that I never mind, this isn't the one there is one that says May, and I actually prefer it, but I don't have it out right now. So everything I forgot because I have to pay an extra Yeah, non creature mana. spells, yeah. Yeah, so all the non creature spells will cost an extra mana. Because of the yeah. Yeah, because I forgot to pay so, it for the mobile. Okay, so, so that 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 pays the extra for that one, that pays the extra for that one. Excellent. So that works. <laughs> and I'm going to try to roll the die. Blasted taxes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Taxes. Hold on. Take <laughs> yeah, you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have your your tax emblem out. <laughs> and also, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that shows you how many times I deal with 
Ristic Pats. Studies, That's Smothering it. Tithe, Mystic Remora, all of it. I have that planned. <laughs> and uh, pass. <laughs> all right. Uh, I've got no end of turn thing, so we're going to next turn draw a cup here. All right. I am going to go ahead and... Oh, and oh, I I missed so many triggers because I was laughing so much. <laughs> I forgot to get my land off a path. Oh, yeah. Go get your land. <laughs> yeah. I was laughing too much. I just like, this is so fucking hysterical. Mm. I'm not even mad. In fact, I would be disappointed. <laughs> okay. I am going to tap... The fractured power stone and a red. The mountain will give me two. I'm going to use two of them. So floating a red to cast the cathartic reunion. I'm going to pitch a mountain and a Falaji dragon engine Ooh. to draw three. Uh. Make another elemental. Indeed. I will add another elemental 1-1 one, one token. Thank you. So there's three of those. Little, <sighs> little nasty little buggers. And let's see. Interesting, interesting. That's a sorcery. Let's go ahead and roll that die. Let's let's see what happens when I roll that die. Let's see. Still floating one red mana. Hey, Benji. What's going on? Dun -dun. Nothing. No. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and and do this. I have that floating one red mana, right? Um, yes. So I'm gonna tap this. So that's another. So I'm at three mana. We're gonna cast Brotherhood's End. We're gonna destroy all uh, artifacts with mana value three or less. Okay. Uh. So there goes this guy. So so this um plane plane thing it, goes into it, my it, it, companion zone. Mm -mm. Doesn't interact. Once it's on the field, it's on oh, the yeah. field. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It just hangs out. <laughs> it's an emblem, basically. It just is. So it can't die. Yeah, it's on. Even though I just killed yeah. it. Yeah. It cannot be interacted okay. with in any yeah. way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll put that back later. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop another land for turn because I have not done that. I'm going to put this to the graveyard because it is resolved. I will add a loyalty counter to Chandra, and I'm targeting Ruby for two points of damage, please. No problem. Then I think I'm. Hmm, I'm gonna try to roll that. Uh, roll that die. Okay. Uh, and I'm floating one mana to do so. You are gonna get all your creatures get plus to zero, plus two, and gain trample until end of turn. Plus zero, plus two, and trample until end of turn. Well, I won't be attacking Ruby with creatures, because that's just a waste of my time. <laughs> yep. Um, and if I go into Amara, I lose at least one. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I really don't need that revolutionist anymore, though. Served his purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. You're like, I'm, a, you're, I'm done with you. <laughs> uh, hmm, I need to get that wildfire elemental for this thing. Anyway, I think maybe or the wildfire turn on. Maybe I'll just throw the revolutionist at Verdict. This seems wrong at this point in time. Well, the channelers. Counts as a five-five right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, yes, the channeler is uh, a five-five. Thank yeah. you. I know. I just look. I'm like, wait, that thing is a big butt. Yeah, there it go. does now. <laughs> oh no! Uh, actually, it, it has the the plus one from the um oh, graveyard stuff now. Because I got do I have four more? Let me let me just quickly check. I don't. What's going on? Oh, I only have two in there. Cardboard combat. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the revolutionist at verdict. Uh, it is a three five. Three th so it'll do five points of combat damage and trample. Oh wait. Uh, okay. Oh no, three, it's a four five. four. It's a four. It's, it's a four six. I forgot for the cage sun. So uh, cage sun gives a plus one plus one. So it's four six because I have the bonus and it's uh, going to do six points of combat damage with trample. 
Hmm. I'll take the six. I'd rather not lose any of my creatures right at this moment. Okie doke. After that, I'm going to pass my turn losing the one floating mana. Okay. Untap. All those artifacts gone. I'll keep draw. Oh my. Sweet dear lord. Okay. Roll me that plan or die, please. Okie dokie. Please get me off this plane. <laughs> no, we're still here. <laughs> Use my fractured power stone. <laughs> Nothing. Use my Nefalia Academy. <laughs> we're leaving. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Where are we going? Okay, so we're going to... Oh my god, what is happening? Why are we on all these... Kessig? We're... <laughs> And then we go to the Great Forest, and now we're going to Land of War. So apparently we're just hanging out in the forest today. Um, all creatures have tap, and they add two green mana. And whenever you roll oh. a 69, untap all your creatures. That works nice. beautifully for me. Okay. Well, that being the case, I am going to move to... Co uh, I'm going to move to combat. So Battle Rattle Shaman will trigger and target Wildfire Eternal. In response to that trigger, I tap the Battle Rattle Shaman to create two green mana, using one of them to make Wildfire Eternal unblockable. Uh, so Wildfire Eternal is now a 3-4. Who do I send this at? That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You sent a creature at me. It's only fair that I return the favor. <laughs> and get a free spell out of it. Yeah, so where is it going? Yeah. Uh, I will swing the Wildfire Eternal over at you. Okay. Uh, and the free spell that... So it attacks... I still have the one floating green mana in which I am going to one, uh, so one red, one, two, three, four, five, six, cast Lunar Frenzy. So for a total of seven, uh, seven because of the one floating. So it gets an additional plus 7 plus 0 for so that's 10. That's before the damage. Okay, so uh, so that's yeah. 3. I need to add another 7. Oh, sorry. And the then way. the trigger from Four, Wildfire five, six, Eternal seven. after no blockers are declared will cast Titan Strength for an additional 3 damage and allow me to scry 1. All right. Which I'll keep. That was a big hit. Uh, we're all no. on 20s now. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, oh, right. You get tapped. And I already paid one to do this, so... Uh, you know what? I'm going to pay two with Sabira. Roll me that again, because maybe I can get them all untapped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing. Ah, it was worth it. <laughs> Empty yeah. hand. Yeah. <laughs> no, like empty hand, board state, unusable, past turn, least life. Nothing can go wrong. Everything, everything will be okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. No risk, no reward. This does not help me right now. Hmm. <laughs> Or you are not also very, really not very so good. few creatures. Okay, I'm gonna untap all my creatures. Apparently, <laughs> sweet. 
<laughs> Six Can you tap them for effect before that happens? <laughs> uh, I know. I wish should have. I guess, yeah, that would have been awesome if I would have tapped them all and got mana out of the deal. Now yeah. Yeah, you're just hanging out doing nothing for the most part. Um, let us tap Thalia for two. Tap her for two green. And then... I think we are going to pay one and two, and then we'll use that as two green. I'm going to play a Keeper of the Accord. It's a human soldier, three, four, and at the beginning of each opponent's end step, if that player controls more creatures than you, create a one, one white soldier creature token. And at the beginning of each opponent's end step, if that player controls more lands than you, you may search your library for a basic planes card, uh, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle your library. I love Keeper of the Accord, Benji. <laughs> it's good time. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Vigor, you are really holding the board up over there. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> um, I really don't want to. I wasn't even sure what to do with the with the with the twenty seven twenty four Marika. I was yeah, actually I'm, I was terrified. I was confused because I'm not used to that. <laughs> Like, I'm confused with, with this? this deck myself. I, <laughs> this is the first time I've actually played a game with this one instead of like Historic Brawl. So. Four, five, six. <sighs> but yeah, I would have been confused with a with a with a yeah. commander that big as well. I had a one shot kill of anybody I felt like at that time, and I was yep. weirded out by it. <laughs> She's just like, I don't want to be that person. I, I have power. This deck is too <laughs> good. Take it, take it away from me. <laughs> Ruby, uh. use the power. Yes. <laughs> if you have it, use it. Um, I'm gonna if pass. I did, the board would be clear. That is true. <laughs> I will. I will pass my turn. Okay. Untap everything. Draw for fossil majesty. I'll draw for my turn. Mountain for turn. Going to pay green and three. Hold on. I forgot that I had creatures that could tap for things now. <laughs> oh, right, yep, yeah, for more, more mana. Correct. Yep. So, two green, colorless, and a mountain. Four Goreclaw, Hair oh. of Qualcisma. I had honestly forgot you drew that. <laughs> I've had it for a while. It's been a while. <laughs> um, creature spell or. Gruix Uprising kicks in. Um, creature spells with power four or greater cost two less to cast. Ooh. What's the power toughness on this one? I can't I can't pull it up and spell. Four three. Thank you. Yeah, it's a four and three. And the name? Uh Goreclaw. Thank you. Hey Spider Monkey, what's happening? So I will tap Terror of Calcima? Red. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty awesome name too. <laughs> Red. Yeah. One to play Archetype of Aggression. Oh, yeah. Creatures I control, I trample, and creatures I don't control, lose trample. Oh. All the archetypes. And being trampled. Mm -hmm. And three, one, two. I'm back, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Because she costs two less because of Oracle. Oh, that's nice. And I will draw one. Just gets um, rid of the commander tax, at least for the first death. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. And with that, I am tapped out, and I have no interest in leaving this plane. So, <laughs> pass. At your end step, I'm going to do some things. Cool. I'm going to tap for two. Uh, two, four, six... Eight, ten mana. 
which will let me put uh, five counters on Blast Zone. Nice. X is five. Yep. So we will set counters on Blast Zone to six. And then I will start the turn. Yeah, I can definitely tell that adding more land to the stack helped. <laughs> okay, first thing I'm going to do is Ultimate Chandra. Crap, I forgot Chandra was down there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, y'all get the emblem where uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, this emblem does three damage to you. Oh. Also, each one of you takes six points of commander damage right now. <laughs> that is not good. I guess we're on a clock now. <laughs> and Chandra is now going back to the command zone. Because I only had seven. Okie dokie. Um, I'm going to tap the magmatic channeler to pitch a mountain. We're taking it out of our hand. And I'm exiling, uh, let's see, uh, Battlefield Flip. No, I want, to, and yeah, Battlefield Flip. These are the two top cards that I'm exiling from the top of my library. I will now turn them over. Forget, I will create a soldier token from Ruby. And choose one to cast. I just thought about I think that. I'm going to choose Fiery Negotiator to cast this round, not not the mountain. The mountain's going to go into exile. And so Jaya Fiery Negotiator is going to cost four mana. We're going to do that with tap, tap, and then cast her here. So Jaya Fiery Negotiator does. Uh, for a plus one, you create a 1-1 one, one red monk creature token with prowess. Minus one, I can exile the top two cards in my library, choose one of them, and may play them at the end of turn. <clears throat> or minus two, choose target creature and opponent controls, and whenever I attack this turn, uh, it will do damage to that creature equal to the number of creatures attacking. Um, and then uh, on the ultimate, it's uh, every time you cast a instant sorcery, you copy it twice. So that's... That's, I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, that's um, fine. We'll be okay. <laughs> we're fine. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six creatures. Mm, really you could kill Vigor. I could. And he, but, you know, I'm not going to do it the way you think I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap uh, two mountains, which is going to let me float one red mana, because I'm uh, three, and um, a tap will get me uh, the blast zone, remove all counters, and sacrifice it basically says... Anything with mana value 6 is destroyed along with Blast Zone. Anything on the board with mana value 6? Not here. That's yeah, just bigger. That's bigger. Just bigger. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. And Blast and Zone is gone. Shuffles back into my deck. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. Yeah. I didn't have a, I don't have a lot of exile in here, but that's okay. Um I think I'm going to plus Jaya. No, I'm going to minus one Jaya to do the the um, the other two cards in exile. It's a mountain and a circle of flame. Okay, so this is the this is the fun one that has. A, okay, so it's in here for fun. It's a really bad commander card, but any creatures attacking me, flame of Circle of Flame will do one damage to that creature unless it has flying. I'm going to go ahead and cast it because it's very flavorful. Nice. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the end of that. Uh, I'm floating one red mana still. I have not yet played a land for turn, so I'm going to play a tapped down to the bugbear. Roll that die, please. Can do. Da -da -da. Nothing. I'm going to use my uh, floating red mana to roll that die. Okay. Nothing. I'm going to tap this red mana for two to roll that die. Okay. Uh, untap all your creatures. And also, we will uh, have oh, a yeah. draw card from Sher McMurr. Thank you, Sher McMurr. Not when he lands. Oh, this would have come in handy like three turns ago. <laughs> okay, draw. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I also love I look at the chat when I'm talking. I don't know why. That <laughs> Do I want to attack? What else is out here on the battlefield? That's a 4-3. That is a 
three two, and that's a, nine, a six four. Uh, I know you know everybody's board is pretty wide. If I swing in now, it feels like a bad idea. Could I take anybody out? I could take somebody out, but I'd die. So that doesn't <laughs> seem like a good idea. And I I do want to give a hint yeah. with Marika's ability. That counts when she's blocking too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that does. Uh, I was thinking. I need to swing with one creature somewhere, and there's only one person wide open. So the verdict, sadly, the Carplusion Hound is coming for you at uh, four damage, unblocked. And it and when it attacks, it's going to do two damage to something else, not yours. Thank no. you. <laughs> Probably Amara's. Uh, no. No, I guess I guess it's Amara's token. A little token? soldier. I mean, you could take out Thalia. Yeah, could... Oh yeah, Thalia. Thank you. And and I have to pay Thalia's tax, which I did not do. <laughs> so I'm doing that now. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> I cast Thalia. two spells. All right. Pastor. <laughs> and you do have oh, more. Shit. How many lands do you have? Me? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I get to go get a planes, and you do have more creatures than me, so I will create another soldier token. Oh, yeah. yeah I sure do. Uh, Verdict. Once Amara is done, I believe it's your turn. Yep, I'm out there. Okay. I will untap. I will admit I completely forgot to pay Thalia's tax during my big attack on you. It's okay. Uh, I will take three damage. Oh, yep, yeah. from the emblem. Forgot about the Chandra. From the emblem, putting Chandra. me down to nine. Draw. Why not? Well, what's the worst I can do? Lose faster? <laughs> Three for a Strixhaven Stadium. Oh, I like that. I just one, like the little flavor. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That is not going to be enough if I play you. But if I get you out, one, so eh. let's see how this works. Uh. Actually, no, I won't even play you. I'm not going to get a chance to use your abilities well. So I am going to go to combat. Uh, oh, uh, Battle Rattle Shaman will trigger, targeting Wildfire Eternal. I will tra tap Strixhaven. Actually, no, that's May. I'm not going to have it do that. Uh, Strixhaven Stadium and the Mountain to give both Battle Rattle and Wildfire. Uh, they can't be blocked till end of turn. I am then going to swing both of them at, uh... You know what? I'm gonna swing both at Ruby. Uh, I know I'm dead. Soon. Uh, at this point, I'm at three counters on Strixhaven. And before combat damage is dealt, I'm going to tap uh, Sabira, discard a Soulbright Flamekin. Mm -hmm. And when these two hit you, because they cannot be blocked this turn, you will take three damage. And I will draw two cards. So how much am I taking total? Three total. Okay. And I will play a, a Pathmaker Initiate. And pass turn. Um, at the end of your turn, I'm going to tap one, and then tap two, and I'm going to use... Ah, uh, I could have... Use, use mobilization, and give myself another soldier. And then I will untap and take my three damage, 
from my wonderful emblem that I do not like. <laughs> yes, I mean, player removal is the only way, right? It really is. <laughs> it's the best form of removal. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Question is... What is in my graveyard? Oh, I know what's in my graveyard. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, doing too much thinking now. Uh, uh, we we we've, we've had our turns like this. <laughs> yeah. So there, I'm like, ah, what do I do? I tap one, two, three. Oh, you know what? I can tap some of these soldiers for mana too. Hold on a second. That changes things. Yeah, a lot. That's a lot of mana. Yeah, it is. May as well use them for something here. Um, I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana. And then we'll tap these three planes. I'm gonna play Ascend from Avernus. Um, not as cool as Descent. <laughs> but uh, return, all, <laughs> return all creature cards and uh, planeswalker cards with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Exile Ascent from Avernus. So this will go to Exile, and then Sagarda is gonna come back out. And also Thalia. <laughs> Oh, good. I, yeah. I missed I kill one of you earlier? <laughs> you might have killed one of them. Ta-da! There we go. And then... Oh. I guess I'm going to have to... Hmm. First we'll roll and see if we can untap all of our creatures. Okay, that didn't happen. Um, I think I am going to have to swing this crazy Gideon's <laughs> Avenger over at you, Chris. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't have Trample right now, do you? I don't have Trample, unfortunately. <laughs> so you can probably just... All right, well... Him. Yeah, I was going to say, you're just, yeah, well, you're just blocking... How him. crazy is it? <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I'm not going to block. I won't attack. Oh, that stinks. Why did you okay. shut off my trample? Because <laughs> I did not like trample. I, <laughs> trample just rolls over all my elements. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I turned off trample. Yeah. I still have it. Thank you very much <laughs> for turning off trample. But uh, I, don't like, I don't like your turn coming up either, so... <laughs> I think I'm just going to pass and see what happens. <laughs> Untapped. I would just like three. to know, I do have a card in hand, just no mana. Yeah. But, so, whatever. <laughs> well, no, you... Oh, oh, no, you do have a lot of green mana. Oh, I do have a lot of green mana, so I guess I have a lot of useless mana for me. <laughs> 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 unless, unless I have those Eldrazi spells in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Some flash not artifacts. <laughs> so not on brand. I'm going to play Field of Ruin. Ew. <laughs> There's nothing I really feel like hitting with using, so don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah. In all honesty, so is... in all honesty, I've used this more as a rampant growth than anything. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Right. I've I've used it like that. Uh, in, in or or it's like Absolutely. someone goes, or someone on my opponents go, "I need this land for this." I go, "Hold." Go get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went on the swap. It's on me. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've used this for politics before, and I usually only target tapped lands that the person has used. Like, If it's something I, terrible, I, I, like a Gaia's Cradle or something, that's causing that's too many... Exception. Yeah, that's causing some crazy like, problems. If it was my field, I would go after Stomping Ground because I have plenty of everything else. It wouldn't affect me to lose it. But... Um... Ba -da 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 -da. Thinking, sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It this happens. is this is near the end game. There's yeah. a lot of things on the board. 
hopefully there's a lot of things in your hand because I think you have way more card draw than anyone else right now. Yeah. <laughs> I have five cards, but yeah. Just I'd like also them. like to note that Ruby's got access to a shit ton of mana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, Thalia is active at the moment. Yes. Yes. Stacks, so, stacks. <laughs> stacks upon stacks. And hers uh, is one additional, correct? Yes. For non creatures, yes. I mean, you can tap your creatures for mana, though. So, <laughs> oh, I know. that makes up for. I'm it. just, I'm just making sure I got everything I need. I'm going to. This... Eh, I don't need it right now. Um, going to combat. Uh... Think. Um... Mara. They're coming at me? Yes, I am. Why? Why are you doing that? Well, because you have a wall that I can't deal with right now. It's a wonderful wall. <laughs> <laughs> Red does not scare me as much as white blue. Why? Or white green does. Why? <laughs> um, I'm going to send the trio at you. Um, when Goreclaw, Terror of Quill, uh, Sisma attacks, each creature you control with power four or greater gets plus one, plus one, and trample redundant. Um, so, is it each other? Nope. So, Goreclaw is a 5-4, Marika is an 8-5, and Archetype of Progression is a 3-2. Okie dokie. Well... In response to that, <laughs> we're gonna tap one, two, three, four, and f five, and I'm gonna play an entrapment maneuver. Uh, target Ooh. player is gonna sacrifice an attacking creature, and I create X one one white soldier creature tokens, where X is the creature's toughness. So I'm gonna have you sacrifice Marika. I, 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 I think creature my pick. I think Ru Ruby chooses. Oh, do you get to choose target player? Set yeah. S sacrifices and attack creature. Yeah. So okay. I will sacrifice archetype. It's redundant. Okay. <laughs> and how big was it? Uh, three two. Three two. So I will get two more soldier tokens. Okay. And then I will block Marika with Gideon's Avenger, and then I shall take <laughs> take the damage from Goreclaw. Correct. So I will take four. Okay. Then I will, going into my second main, tapping three. I am going to Infectious Bite. Um, I'm going to Infectious Bite your puppy over there. Oh, that's the Carplusion <laughs> Hound. That's not a yep. puppy anymore. <laughs> it's always a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start to the graveyard and get a poison counter for everybody. Yep, uh, and then you sacrifice a non-creature, non-land permanent. I do? No. Yep, because I dealt excess damage. Uh, whenever, because you use Marika to do it. Thank you. Correct. Non creature. Yeah, Anytime non I play this, I'm going to pick Marika. I'm going to get rid of that circle of flame. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. See? Look, it, it, it was the best commander card. Yeah, it served its purpose. <laughs> it gave you something to sacrifice. Yep, yep. Mm. 
I'm going to let's try rolling the planar dice. Okay, dokie. Nothing. Roll it again. Nothing. Cool. Uh, this is exiled. I don't want to be a complete bitch. I don't want to be a complete asshole in this move, so I'm going to <laughs> pass. Use the power. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I can leave it up to a vote if anybody wants me to do it. Use the power. I say yes. I don't even know what it is. Do it. I've been holding this for a very long time. If you think now is a good time to play it, like good, yeah. advantageously, go for it. One, two, three, four. One, two, extra damnation. Damn it. Damn you, damnation. Uh, what do we want to do to th about that? Well, I think I'm going to well. sacrifice King Darien. And all my tokens will survive. <laughs> I need to do something different. There we What's the point of having board wipes if you don't use them? Exactly. Yep. So, Marika <laughs> it was a good time. Will... Marika will stay. Because it's your turn, yep. Yep. Oh, Gideon's Avenger, you got so big. Grew that's up. all. That's part of the reason why I'm like, let's just... <laughs> I have things like that in my deck. I think you should use them. <laughs> yes, but later game, I'm always like, I don't feel... I feel bad, especially when <laughs> I was the arch enemy there for a bit. So. <laughs> Pass after that. Okay. Uh, I have no end step thing, so I'm just going to go to the next turn here. I've been holding that damnation for a very long time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to land for turn. What do I want that land for turn? No, I think I think now might be a good time to play this land for turn. I got a little Misha's Factory here. You know, one <laughs> mana, it turns into a 2-2 two, two creature. Just in case another board wipe comes around, you know, I just, <laughs> just I want something case. I can... Yeah, I got a couple Actually, things that's here the only reason really I run Damnation is because I don't really... My board doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna think. I think I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, my commander, which is uh, it's got the tax. So I got to pay five. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Hey, what's up, Chandra? Fire Kaladesh. What's up, girl? Doing? What's the heck? Uh, I'm gonna. What's up, my um, other wife? I'm gonna minus. No, I'm going to plus um, Jaya to get a board state. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Amara, you're open right now, right? I am. Okay, I'm going to tap, tap. We're going to oh, animate no. the bugbear. We're going to attack you with the bugbear, which also gives me a also little attack. goblin token, which will be tapped and attacking, right? Get hit for four. And that will be hit, hit you for four, yeah. Go to seven. Oh, this is nice. And then seven. I will go ahead and pass the turn to Bird, because this plane is fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For now. I was hoping just for the untap ability. I really didn't care otherwise. Okay. Untap, upkeep. I have two more upkeep. Yeah, got okay, two more upkeeps. <laughs> then I die. <laughs> Draw. Yep. Yep. <laughs> really? You're going to come into play now? Okay. Strixhaven Stadium, Nefalia Academy, da uh, all right, Thalia's in play, Mountain. Not anymore. Oh, Thalia's yeah. not in play anymore. Oh. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> right. Uh, Dowsing Dagger, so I am going to give, you know what, Amara? Yes. Because your deck loves tokens, I'm going to give you two zero two green plant creature tokens with Defender. Awesome. To draw plant tokens now. 
Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I bring in Subira with her tax. For two, I'm going to equip the Dowsing Dagger onto her. And I am going to go to combat. Let's see. Yeah. I'm going to swing Subira at, uh, at Shipley. All right. Uh, what's the current Subira's power toughness? Uh, she is a 4-4. Four, four. And what is... Uh, how many cards in hand? Uh, like I have one card in hand. I have one card in hand. And you are currently tapped out as I, far as lands are concerned. Uh, I have one colorless mana untapped. You have one colorless mana untapped. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and double block here. Uh, but my creatures have plus one, plus one because of the Cade Sun. So it's a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2 two, two blocking you. Yeah, I'm going to take out your commander. Okay. Completely oh, yes. forgot about the Cage Sun, so... Yeah, Subira is going up. Four. Oh, well. Uh, and let's roll to get off this plane. Okay. Yeah, we're still here. <laughs> I'll tap my Fractured Power Stone to try and get off this plane again. Nothing. Okay. Pass turn. Okay, My deck is not being helpful. <laughs> Can I untap? I didn't know I could draw infinite tokens in Moxfield. Thank you. Brand new. Yeah, that's a, yeah, brand, that's new a brand new feature. Yes. You can make your own tokens now on Moxfield, which is pretty cool. <laughs> we were testing it out over the weekend. <laughs> Pardon me, Pupper. I oh, I need... I, I, I hopefully can get the funds together while it's still in pre-war. I want the Infinite Tokens playmat yes. so <laughs> badly. Just so stupidly badly because it's so pretty. I've got my wonderful uh, <laughs> grave stone on there that says, should have put more removal in. <laughs> and you never take your own advice. Nope, I refuse to take my own advice. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh... I'm going to take three damage, so I'll go down to four. <laughs> I'm going to tap these plants for four mana. I'm going to tap these soldiers, which there's five of them. Uh, I'll just change that dice. That way I will have another... That's 14 mana? <laughs> you ever 15, take, yeah. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 mana? <laughs> because why not and then I'm going to play a planes and tap it for 23 mana <laughs> and I'm going to play a horn of Valhalla and I'm going to play the sorcery half of it and create X11 white soldier creature tokens uh, I'm going to create 20 of them <laughs> well fuck <laughs> I'm going to recall the damnation. <laughs> Wait. This deck can't do that. Um, <laughs> I am then going to roll the die. Never, I never intended roll that to die. recall the damnation, but... We're leaving. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, but we'll see. Um, we're going Come to... Come on, phenomenon. Uh, Prov, if you cast a spell this turn, you can't attack with creatures. If you attack with creatures this turn, you can't cast spells. <laughs> That's my factor power token. Yeah. Power stone. <laughs> Whenever you roll. <clears throat> oh, very nice. <laughs> Whenever you roll a 69, you gain life equal to the number of cards in hand. That I need to do because I don't have any life. <laughs> so I will That's a good way to get some life. Yeah, yep, I'm yep. tap my fracture power stone. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> so I will just. Yeah, pass by turn. <laughs> well, okay. So we're on prob. God damn it. And tap. <laughs> Three. Draw. And then draw.
Wing. Red, green, and one to play Rhythm of the Wild. Then green for Birds of Paradise. Nice. And picking the haste end of riot. Um, let's try rolling. You gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. Five cards. Nice. Ah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thanks, my job. So much roll hard. it again. <laughs> And we're leaving. <laughs> no, no, I don't get light. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the mirror depths. Whenever a player casts a spell, that player flips a coin. If he or she loses the flip, counter that spell. Ugh. That sounds awful. Yeah, this place is hell. Um, whenever you roll a 69, target player reveals the top card of his or her library. If it's a non-land card, you may cast it without paying its mana Okay, that's cost. pretty sweet, though. Yeah. That uh, I mean, yeah, it has an upside. Well, <laughs> well, hold on. You cast it, but then you also have to then flip a coin. Yeah, you still have to flip the coin. If yeah. you oh, cast come it for on! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, here's a free spell, but you might not get it. <laughs> not really, yeah. You know, for shits and giggles, I'll roll it again. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Nothing. One more shit and giggle. Roll it again. <laughs> nope. nope. Well, my shits are giggling right now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, we so lost. we're Amaris. We just lost the die. <laughs> oh, it, it's behind the desk now. Well, yep. Now we just gotta roll. <laughs> yep. Now we're just rolling a normal die, I guess. So if you would like yep. to roll your own die, you may. <laughs> yep. The planar die is gone for the day. <laughs> nope. So is it, a, is it a one and a six are the other yep. two? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, then I will go to combat because... I got off that plane yep. before combat you, stuff. You don't need combat. And, um, yep. Marika's coming at you. Must be blocked. <laughs> yeah, well, I have one blocker. <laughs> <laughs> so, it can only do two damage. And then destroy a non-land, non-creature permanent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just... <laughs> I, I just gotta think about if it's Jaya or the Cade's son. I, I gotta think about this for a second. I think it's gotta be the Cade's son because Jaya helps me dig. I was so. gonna say Cade's son has done has put some damn work for you. It it did the work already. Yeah. Jaya's got, got still has work to do for me. <laughs> and uh, the damage after absorbing two. What's what's her what's what's her power? Um, she's a seven four. So you'll take uh, five. Yep, because she has trample because of Garuk. Right, yeah, right. Uh, that's that's what I'm making sure of. But that's commander damage, so I want to make sure I do that correctly. Uh, no, it's this. Yeah, oh, one, two, three. Nope, wrong person. There's Cassie D H. It's five, five commander damage is one, two, three, four, five. There. Okay. Cool. And pass. All right. Next turn. <clears throat> Oh, I like this guy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to minus Kaya uh, Jaya to uh, exile two cards. One, two. So either fight with fire which will allow me to do uh, five damage, or if it's kicked at this ten, divide it anywhere I want, which I can't kick anymore because I just got rid of my Kate's son. <laughs> <sighs> and then uh, Chef's Kiss, gain control of target spell that targets only single, which is a fantastic, it's, it's a little flavorful, but uh, Chef's Kiss isn't going to help me right now because no one's casting any spells. So that'll just go to the exile. What? No, I don't want to restart the game. You oh. <laughs> E. <laughs> uh, all right, so I guess I'm going to cast this because otherwise I lose it, right? Uh, I'll play a land for turn. 
It's another four it's out on the mountain. Everybody was surprised. Uh, and so I got to throw out three mana there to cast this. So one, two, what? Oh, I just exiled those. Tap, tap, tap. All right, uh, we'll just do the five damage to your commander uh, there, uh, Ruby. Okay. Also, you have, cause does that count as casting? Because you might have to flip a coin. <laughs> it does. I am. I have to flip a coin, yes. Yeah. Uh, so to flip a coin, and I can just do that. In yeah, if you mux, go over to uh, the stuff. side. Yeah. I got a die. I got a. So just do even odd. Where's the coin? Which one of these is the coin? Spell I'm not talking about. Oh, oh, roll die or flip a coin. Uh, coin flip. Uh, planeswalker is what I want. I flip the heads. Well, shit. I thought it would be planeswalker the other one. All right. Um, <laughs> I didn't call heads or tails, right? So, I, <laughs> <laughs> is Planeswalker technically the head or the tail of that coin? I, I have no idea. Uh, shall I flip it again? Yeah, if you want to call it out first, you can. I will call tails. Coin flip. There we go. Okay. There's no Thalia on the board, right? Nope, no Thalia. Okay, so this will now just go to the graveyard. Uh... One, two, three, four, five. Does it successful or not? It is successful, yes. Because I wait, because I made the, I, I, I won the roll, so it's successful. Yes, it, I think it, that's how that works. Yeah, it casts. All right, <laughs> we do tap one, two, and then one, two, three to play a backdraft hellkite. And so when the backdraft hellkite attacks, um. My instant and the sorcery cards in my graveyard uh, gain flashback until end of turn. It does not have haste. <sighs> <laughs> and I will keep my little uh, my little goblin back here and uh, pass the turn. Okay. Let's see if I can do anything. Last turn. Hopefully not. Untap, upkeep, one, two, three. Draw. You are useless. Land for turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will bring in Subira. Because that is all I can do. Uh, Imara. Yes. Is there anything that you can do on your next turn that will keep you from dying? Or let you win? Yes. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, wait. I have to flip a coin for her, don't I? You do. No, I it's a spell, to cast right? It. Yeah. Oh, any spell? Yeah, it's, any spell. Spell. Ah. it's every spell. <laughs> yeah. So actually, you need to flip it for the dragon, too. Yep, I do. This plane okay. is awful. I hate this plane. <laughs> we'll let Verdict flip first. I, flip. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we we'll the die. Doing it. Yeah. Uh, evens... Is uh, evens, it's cast. Odds, it's not. That's a four. It's cast, yep. Yeah. I'm going to flip for heads. Heads is what I want. Okay. Flipping coin. I flip tails, so the dragon is in the graveyard. Okay. Glad I didn't. Dang, that token is untapped. Noodles doing noodle things. <laughs> You know what? Roll the die. That's up to five. We are leaving. <laughs> okay. Shucks. We're going to my home. 
We are going Please. to the Orcha Colony. Uh, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle your library. Whenever you roll a 69, uh, a target creature can't be blocked this turn. Two. I'm going to equip Dowsing Dagger. One. Roll that die. Come on, 69. Come on, 6. We're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I didn't like that one anyway. We're going to Stencia. Whenever a creature deals damage to one or more players for the first time each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Whenever you roll a 69, each creature you control gains tap. Uh, this creature deals one damage to target player. <laughs> Become prodigal sorcerers. Or planeswalker. Uh... Do it again. Not again. <laughs> I'm just going to... I don't have the mana for it. I'm going to swing Subira at... Uh... You know what? At the arch enemy at this point, Chipley, <laughs> you're killing us all. I have to. Uh, what's her power right now? She's a 4-4. Four, four. All right, I'll take four. And that's commander damage? Yay. Uh, yes, four commander damage, and my dowsing dagger gets to transform. Dun, da, da, da. Now I have more mana and nothing to use it on. <laughs> uh, that is the end of my turn. So... Everyone just know I do have Captive Flame, and it's not just my creatures I can boost. Plus, I have combat tricks in hand that I can use on other players. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> just to give me another turn. <laughs> uh, well, there's no... no, there's no, no. I'm going to take three damage. Yeah, there's no other turn at this point. Yeah. I'm going to go to one. <laughs> I will draw for the turn. Yeah. Like, I'm dead, ne I'm dead at my next upkeep, so I'm just saying, hey... Remember, you can attack and do stuff, and I can boost your things. <laughs> I'm going to play a, a intangible virtue, and creature tokens I control are going to get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance. Oh, nice. I am then going to tap one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to play Maja... The better guard protector, other creatures I control get plus one, plus one, and whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I create a one, one human, or white human warrior creature token. I am then going to <laughs> go to combat. <laughs> um, I'm going to send seven. Well, let, me, let me do some math here. Three. Yes, I will send seven soldiers at Ruby. I will send <laughs> these plant tokens back at you for deck. <laughs> uh, they have defender. Oh, yeah, they do have defender. Okay, yeah, they can't attack. Okay, <laughs> I will attack you with <laughs> one soldier token then. So then I am down to 20... What? No, I will be down to... Uh, let's see here. 18, 17. So I should have 16 soldiers. And I shall attack Chris with 16 soldiers. Six, you don't want to make it 17? No. <laughs> no. No. And <laughs> okay, I'll, I guess I'll fuck one. <laughs> uh, okay. Any, oh, For no, the... Ready. This is my only play I had. So. Right. <laughs> oh. I have prior. I, I take. I have the priority right yeah. now. What are you going to oh, okay. do? Yeah, yep. I forgot. That. Yeah. I'm going to besiege you, intangible virtue. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> I have to pay two because I do not have a legendary out, but still, don't care. Okay, so that oh, that that means I will survive. Okay, cool. Well, you might not survive though because uh, you're being attacked well, by sixteen two two or <laughs> sixteen one two ones. Two. Yeah. Well, you no. Should just got rid of the. I have this other. Oh, one. Oh, this also gives him one one. Oh, this other one gives him one. Yeah. One. Oh, okay. So... Yeah, we're good. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's 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 the end of that. So they're two twos. Yeah. When did you get sixteen uh, soldiers? Well, my, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, I had I had made twenty soldiers that last turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were in land of war. Yeah, I yep. used all uh, my how other. How much damage is Ruby? Uh, Ruby will be hit for what are the seven of them were attacking seven two twos. But I also have not. We haven't gone to blockers yet either. So. Yeah, we haven't gone to blockers. So 
I'll block one of them with okay. with bomb. Okay. Okay. Uh, that means that's six of turn. them. That's twelve. Or you don't. Yeah. So you'll get hit with for two verdict. So you'll still survive. Yeah. Uh. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to boost one of your tokens by four power that's attacking Ruby. <laughs> so, seeing damage. <sighs> Are we all done? <laughs> oh, wait. No, Ruby's at two now. <laughs> Also, my emblem's gone, so... Yes. <laughs> yeah. But... Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> this game is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at our life totals. I'm just sitting there, I'm like... Okay, so I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on some of these soldiers. Not all of them. I don't think nah, any of them wise. die. None of them will die. Oh, right. That goes down to five. So how many of them are there? So, let me think. Seven. So six of them hit the player. And then another... So 21 of them will get plus one, plus one counters. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then these other five are just normal guys just hanging out. But they're all tapped. Oh, no, they're not tapped because they have vigilance. I forgot about that. Some mobilization. Um, I'm going to play an Evolving Wilds, which will create a 1-1 one, one human warrior token. And then I am going to use my free roll of the planar die. Nothing. Uh, tap the fractured power stone. Throw the dice off the table. And... I, I will hit the 69 and then I will have all my soldiers ping everybody to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good game. That was <laughs> Good game. <laughs> that was a nail fight. It's going to get nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Yeah, that was interesting. Ruby had enough to save her life. Yeah. Verdict's like, let's just edge you a little closer to death. And then, <laughs> yeah. you know, that plane chase really, I... really got us. That uh, that that mirrored thing. Oh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, that mirrored thing. Yeah. I hate that thing. I I, 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 I realized why I didn't know uh, why he made all this token. I, I wouldn't change my turns or anything, but like like the die you have oh, blended yeah. into your background yeah. so much that I didn't even <laughs> see that there was a twenty. Yeah, time it just looks like a gem. I yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not good with this oh. play mat. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of... That was good times. <laughs> well, I, I didn't I get to see the... I heroic intervention in, in hand. That oh. was... Oh. Oh. I didn't get to play Decree of Annihilation, but I will the next time. You know the funny thing is uh. the one card that you sacrifice that does the one damage to all the creatures, like, I wouldn't have been able to attack with my own soldiers. <laughs> Well, they were plus one, plus one, weren't they? Well, before, if I wouldn't have had the plus one, plus one, though, before they were just yeah, one yeah. ones, I would have been like, ah, well, yeah, that would, yep. have, that would have kept me from being able to do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let us do. You want to do that giveaway real quick? I will. Yeah, let's 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 do that. I got this uh, arena code for pre-release. All will be one. Sweet. Anybody who is here, if you would like to enter, I do believe. How does Nightbot work? Do you type in slash Chandra? That's what I put as the thing. We'll see what we see what happens when I do it. Do 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 do. Caps lock is on. It's been a while since I've done this. We'll see if this works or not. Mm. It adds me to the thing. Nope, it didn't. He would have come in handy. Let's see here. Do do do. Nightbot. Oh, there we go. Users that are on. Dun, dun, dun. Eligible users. Everybody is eligible. There we go. Except for Chris. He doesn't want to be eligible. <laughs> no, I'm giving it away. I don't see Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so everybody who is in the here. Da, da, da. There we go. <laughs> Nightbot, you don't get to join. You're out of control, Nightbot. <laughs> Nightbot's joining their own. Yeah. I was like, you can't even do that, Nightbot. <laughs> Apparently it's an yeah, option, though. Nightbot, <laughs> don't do that. Let us roll it. Spider Monkey, you just won. All right, Spider Monkey, it's going to be the six booster packs. Uh, I will private you the, uh, the code. Uh, but uh, you can only use one per MTG account. So if you MTG Arena account, so if you've already used it, uh, give it away to somebody or uh, make another account. <laughs> awesome! Thank you very uh, much, Chris, for giving that away. That is awesome, and congrats, Spider Monkey. Uh, I gotta whisper now. I gotta figure out how to do that. Hold on. <laughs> no problem. Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna add it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's. Where are you? There's Spider Monkey. Now, nah, Whisper. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to let everybody do a little outro. Work. Let us Oof. know what you got going on in the world, and I will find us a place to raid while we do that. And Ruby, um, you want to lead us off? Yeah, sorry. Still flabbergasted. Oh, I've, okay. had, I've played two games, uh, one Sunday and one today. I played Corvold, Sunday, and Marika now, and both of them took way more thought than I, my body is used to. <laughs> That's what happens when you add um, new cards. <laughs> except I won with Corvold, so go with that. Um, I love my sexy... According to uh, Miss Eldritch, Corvold is the sexiest dragon in Magic, so that's the name I of the deck. New Mizzet is... Probably no, Cor Corvold, yeah, Corvold, is my is, Corvold is my dragon hubby, and I he is the sexiest. <laughs> um, I have no shame. You played with me how many times? I know. <laughs> uh, but I am Ruby with Chaos EDH. Uh, it's Chaos EDH everywhere the name can be used, um, especially on here on Twitch, where I'm trying like hell to become to reach affiliate. Um, I think I depends on how awake I am in about an hour. Um, I might go on and play more. Um, I'm currently working my way through Digimon Cyber Sleuth, and then I'll go to Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker Memory. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's about it. I don't even know what games I have coming up. <laughs> I know I'll be back tomorrow, I think. <laughs> I'll probably be here watching you, because this is fun as... There we go. And Chris. I am unable to whisper Spider Monkey, so okay. I'm going to send this uh, picture of this code to you, Amara, okay. and it up to you to okay. redeem with Spider Monkey. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll get it to him. Excellent. Uh, and uh, you can follow me on Twitter and at ShelbyCDM. I do got a Twitch thing, but I haven't streamed in like months, and I'm happy about that. I am here to guest on your streams. <laughs> awesome. That so, that's, that, so this is fantastic for me tonight. This is my first time playing that Chandra deck. I love it. Uh, again, just re for people who would not have been here earlier, as I tune it up, uh, I do have all these cards and paper, and I do plan to give a giveaway with that and the uh, really cool um, Chandra uh, playmat from Aaron Miller. Very cool. Very cool. That your deck nice. was kind of scary. <laughs> it was doing things. Yeah, I was not expecting it to do as well as it did. <laughs> that was nuts. I loved it. And Verde, yeah. What do you got going on? Uh, honestly, not too much. I haven't been uh, guesting on streams recently, but I'm trying to uh, just be a bit more. Uh, just get a bit back more into that. Uh, and honestly, you can just occasionally find me on Twitter at Verdict or Schmal or on Archive of Our Own. I know I keep saying I will update what I have all of my fictions on there. I promise I will. Don't hold me to a date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't make a date. But otherwise, <laughs> you can hold you to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, but otherwise, just occasionally popping into streams with friends and having a lot of fun getting my ass whooped. <laughs> Sometimes that's the funnest part. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you for joining me, all three of you. You're all welcome back whenever. If you see that I need somebody or whatnot, just message me. Yeah. And you I, have, awesome. You have my yeah. number, so. Yeah, that I do. I will be back tomorrow, I do believe, at midnight. 
because I'm hosting Bio, uh, one of his birthday streams. So <laughs> I will oh, be back for some midnight plane chase. <laughs> we'll see how Ooh. my brain stops working after 10 p.m. So yeah, I'm gonna be a mess. <laughs> Mine's not <laughs> working at 7:30. So <laughs> <laughs> that's my normal bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at there, Ruby? What'd huh? you get? Yep. What? I was just asking Ruby what we're looking at. Like, what? What do you got? Uh, There's two oh, different no, decks, or I got two decks out. This is uh, the Marie, the Marika, and the Miza Boss. I just oh, the two that you were thinking of playing. Though, I, yeah. I had sitting to the side. That was just fiddling with them. <laughs> cool. Cool. Well, we're gonna go over and visit Astrals because everybody else is off. Usually Fridays are pretty busy, but we're going to raid over there. We'll see yeah. if I spelled things properly. <laughs> hey, I did. Look at that. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And, I, yeah, we'll be back this weekend. Yep. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, we're going to stop in the street.